I just want to talk about this one as a story that helps me in many situations. As you can see now, I'm outdoors and it's very, very bright, although that it's, it's cloudy as you can see, but it's, it's very, very bright. So if you are doing a video in an outdoor setup like this, for example, me, I'm vlogging, the camera will try to uh, uh, increase the, the, the shutter speed. So in situations like this, you don't want to increase your shutter speed. Um, I know that uh, the most important uh, things in, on when you're doing a video is uh, the sound and also the light. If I'm not, I don't have a variable ND filter, I'm, I'm not using it. I won't be getting the, the perfect light. What I mean about that is that um, if I don't have variable ND filter right now, my shot will be, my video will be overexposed. I won't be able to get this uh, perfect uh, blurry background if I wasn't uh, using this variable ND filter. I will be forced to, to increase my aperture maybe to um, around uh, 8 f8 or something to get this perfect exposure so now i'm in a 50 shutter speed so because i'm i'm, I'm doing this video in a 25 frames per second in that in that shutter speed you won't be able to 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 to, to get perfect exposure because um there's a lot of light that is coming through your lens so you will need this one piece of equipment or accessory that i have to overcome that challenge this uh, accessory that i'm talking about is the variable nd filter okay i'll turn it around to the minimum uh, point and then i'll take it back to the uh, point that i'm in right now so if you didn't have any um ND filter or variable ND filter, you will face this challenge. So see, as I'm turning this, um, so as you can see, it's, uh, it's over, over exposed. So you will face with, you will be faced with the challenge. So you need to get the variable ND filter so that you are not uh, facing. Uh, this challenge you are not facing this challenge of um, over exposure or under exposure when you're doing your video a variable empty filter that I'm using right now is is, is, is from uh, Zume it's uh, nt2 to nt400 so I just purchased it because it's great for uh, to control this uh, uh, overexposure when you are vlogging but if you are doing some intensive stuff you need to get maybe a variable anti filter that goes to nine stop so it's up to you but I just wanted to talk about this uh, a quick uh, video uh, about this uh, one piece of equipment or accessory that I'm using to get my perfect uh, exposure in a bright Sun like this so Today, obviously, it's not that um, bright because it's cloudy, but it's still, I'm still getting that uh, overexposure because I'm using shutter speed that is uh, a little bit lower. Thank you so much for watching up until now. See you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and turning on those notifications so that you don't miss any video that I post. And also like this video.